A good place to start these tips is with the concept of the talking head. What does that mean? Well, think about this. Uh, one of the most important lessons I learned about online presenting is that it dulls the senses. That three of our senses are automatically shut down when we are on camera or we're watching other people on camera. We cannot smell, we cannot taste, we cannot touch what the other people are experiencing. We can only see what their cameras pick up. We can only hear what their microphones are picking up. And the same goes for them. So it's important that they can see our face. So the first thing you have to have is good lighting. This does not do you much good. This is what we call the witness protection effect. If you want good lighting, so for example, in my office, I have two in front of me at 45 degree angles. I've got two to the side, I've got one behind me. It lights up my face, uh, but it's also not overexposed. In addition to lighting, make sure you're looking straight onto the camera like I'm doing right here. I've seen too many people who are looking down on their camera, which sends a couple of messages. One, I'm looking down on you. And number two, I want you to look up my nose. Don't like that look at all. Looking up slightly is okay, but you don't want to look too much either. That just looks awkward. When I'm looking at the camera, it feels more like we're having a natural conversation, doesn't it? On the other hand, we don't want to be looking at your face just all the time. And you don't have to stay centered, by the way. You can start here on one side. You can come to the other. Uh, you don't want to have your face too close because that gets really creepy. And you don't want to be too far back for too long because they'll feel a disconnection from you. So it's important that we can see your face. That's the talking head syndrome. In this dulled senses world of virtual presenting, this is how we're going to communicate and make that initial connection with the audience so they'll stay from start to finish. See you in tip number two. If you like the information in this tip, you will love the report we just created. It's called Stop Zoom Burnout Now. It contains dozens of tips, insights, and ideas on how to keep your virtual presentations fresh and to keep you, the presenter, and your audience from suffering from all the Zoom fatigue and burnout that we hear about these days. There's no cost or obligation to this report. Simply click on the link below. It'll take you to a sign-up page, and then you can download the report. Hope you enjoy it and hope to see you online soon.